Today, I'm gonna make a giant fingerboard half pipe that's made out of concrete. This is the bag of concrete that's gonna be turned into a fingerboard half pipe. I got this bag of concrete a couple years ago and I'm gonna use it again. Recently, I've been seeing a ton of people on Instagram make these super good looking concrete fingerboard obstacles and I wanna do the same. One of these people made a whole fingerboard half pipe made out of concrete and it looks insane. The finished ramp looks so dialed and I wanna build the exact same thing. When you look at this video, you can see that they have a base made out of foam board for the concrete to go on. I'm running pretty low on foam board, so we need to buy some more at a dollar store. In the car now, you know how it goes. Sunshine. The things we need from Dollarama. Foam board, for one, you, you can pretty much never have enough. Two. Probably some new blades to cut the foam board because, again, you can never have enough. Three, probably a new hot glue gun because that thing is like six years old and it barely functions. In between the foam board and the concrete, there also needs to be some sort of mesh kind of in place so the concrete doesn't just like fall down. I have a few ideas for what we could use, but we... I have a few ideas for what I could use, so we're just gonna get to Dollarama and see if they have everything I'm looking for. Look at how beautiful the Dollarama sign is. The goods have been collected. We have super glue, a blade, another sharp thing, more things that are sharp. I have a couple ideas and these might be useful. I also got these, I have no idea what they're called, but I'm gonna use them just to like spread the concrete a bit smoother. And of course, the hot glue gun. Time to drive another half an hour back home just so I can build a concrete fingerboard ramp that's like miniature. So this is everything I got for the build. To begin making a concrete half pipe, this is what you need to do. So I have never made a concrete half pipe before, so this is kind of, you probably don't wanna follow my advice. But basically, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this piece of foam board and trace the shape of the half pipe. I just made a template out of paper, and if we trace this on both sides, we should have a half pipe. It's a little bit hard to see the lines on this, but you can see it does form a half pipe. This will be the side of the half pipe and this thing is actually gonna be like pretty big. Both of the side panels are now cut out. With the side pieces cut out, I'm gonna cut a strip of foam board that's gonna go in between both of the sides. The idea for the outside piece is it's gonna be glued about an inch away from the outside of the cutout. Then once we have the one inch gap from the outside, the concrete is gonna sit in that one inch spot just to make it a lot thicker. <laughs> So this is the progress with the half pipe and I'm pretty happy with how everything's looking. You might notice I put this like divider piece here and I'm planning on pouring the concrete in the top pieces first and then we can move on to the main area. It's been a while since I last mixed concrete so we're gonna see how it goes. I have the concrete looking pretty good, so we're gonna pour it in and see how it goes. Obviously, you don't really want air bubbles in the concrete, so I'm just gonna keep tapping the sides just to kind of settle everything out and get the air bubbles out. First concrete pour worked out really well, so I'm gonna mix up another batch and do the second spot now. The last batch of concrete I made was like quite a bit more watery, so this one is a little bit more challenging. This stuff is so weird to work with because it starts out like really dry feeling and then it just like turns perfect. 
It's a new day and the concrete is looking pretty good. I was talking about needing to put something kind of on the curved parts just so the concrete doesn't like all slide down and we still need to do that. I got these metal trays and I'm thinking I could kind of bend them to the shape of the ramp and then the concrete just would stay up a little better. Another idea that I think could work pretty well is just gluing popsicle sticks like this and then that'll kind of like keep the concrete just from sliding down. <laughs> This thing is ready for concrete. Having these metal pieces on here, I think should work pretty well. This container is hopefully gonna be big enough, but I feel like this is gonna be really deceiving and pretty hard to kind of like guess how much we're gonna need. I'm just gonna hope that this is enough and then we don't need to mix up anymore. This is probably gonna make a lot of dust. smoothing everything out for like the past two and a half hours, but this looks insane. Concrete obstacles look insane, but they make a little bit of a mess to make. The concrete looks pretty solid right now, and it's kind of solid, I guess. But I'm gonna let this sit for like a little over 24 hours, and when we come back, it should be a lot more solid. I will see you guys in about 24 hours. It is time to finish the half pipe. I think I'm on like day five of making this, so it's taking a little bit of time, but we have something to kind of look at now. So from a distance, the whole thing is pretty smooth, but we do still need to sand it because if you look closely, you can see all of these like kind of just bits sticking out. Because the wheels on a fingerboard are pretty small, you can pretty much feel every single like micro bump on this thing. So we need to sand every single part of this thing, and I'm probably gonna be here for the next like six hours. I have some sandpaper I'm gonna be using, but I also wanna try this tool. When I turn this on this whole thing vibrates a ton which is hopefully gonna make sanding pretty easy I'm not really expecting this works super well for the entire thing but we can definitely use it for like the flat spots This is 120 grit and it's almost like too fast like I'm almost taking off like too much so I'm probably gonna shift to 240. This is not really what I want to be seeing. I think the problem is there's sand in the concrete and it's kind of taking out little pieces of sand and then kind of just dragging it everywhere it goes. So we probably need to sand the entire thing by hand. Another day, another update of why this thing is taking so long to make. You might notice the ramp looks a little bit different than it did before. Basically when I was done sanding the entire ramp, I wasn't super happy with like how smooth it was. The concrete I used to make this entire thing has a ton of sand in it and if you try and smooth out sand it doesn't really go super well. I mixed up a whole new batch of concrete without any sand and put it over the entire ramp and this thing is looking so much better. There was actually a bit of a dent kind of in the concrete before because the foam board actually kind of just broke under the weight from the concrete so I didn't really like how that looked either. The entire ramp is looking so much better now but I'm still just going to give it a quick sand and then we'll be ready for the final step. The new concrete is so much smoother without the sand. This was pretty smooth before, but it's way smoother after sanding it. It's 
it's time to put the clear coat on the half pipe. I don't want to put the clear coat on while we're inside, so I'm going to move this outside and then we can put the clear coat on. Also, just so you guys know, this thing weighs like 45 pounds. Like, it is solid. I also have no idea how like fragile it is. It should be pretty solid, but I still don't want to find out. That was actually a close call. I thought this was clear coat, but it's actually paint. The entire color of this thing changes so much with the clear coat. The concrete half pipe is now complete after about eight days of making it. It only took like seven days longer than I was expecting, so it's not too bad. The old school bull god board is ready to go, so let's test out the concrete half pipe. This is the very first time I've even tested this. That is so smooth. The clear coat made everything even smoother. Let's test out the G16 board. The fingers are cold today. It's like one degree out here. It is so nice. Listen to how nice the entire thing sounds. This just feels... This thing feels incredibly solid. To be honest, I was not expecting this ramp to be this good. I also see why so many people make concrete obstacles because like this took a lot of work, but it is so cool to actually like see it once it's done. At the start of this project, I really had no idea how to make anything out of concrete and I still have no idea how to make anything out of concrete. But to be honest, like this turned out way better than I was expecting. Thank you guys all so much for supporting the channel. I appreciate every single person who watches my video and I pretty much read every single comment that gets left on all of my videos. I would love to hear what you guys think about this ramp and like what I could kind of do different in the future because I really want to make some more of these. That is it for this project. I'm so happy with how this looks. Thank you guys again for watching this video and I'll see you guys all next time.